push-ups. So with a push-up, we ideally want to get our chest to the floor so we get full range of motion. Now that's pretty difficult. Uh, we need a really strong set of shoulders, a nice strong core to be doing it properly. So when we do a push-up, if you're doing it on your toes or your knees, we want to try and keep our hands underneath our shoulders, so they're in line, nice and, and we want to keep our hands as close to the body as possible. We want to be utilizing the tricep and we want our chest as open as possible. Now if you do a wide grip push-up, you start to rotate your shoulders inwards, you close up the chest at the bottom, and it's not a very good movement for your shoulders. You're also going to struggle to get your chest down and back up again. So the push-up looks like this. As you can see, nice straight line, the chest and the pelvis hit the ground at the same time, come back up, and there's limited movement, snaking up. Because when you snake, you lose your core. You want that body as straight as possible. You want to be pulling that tummy in nice and tight and squeezing the glute. And that way you can keep a straight line. Now, you may do that on your, on your knees. If you can't do that on your uh, toes, make sure your hand and shoulder are in line. Pull your bum in, pull your tummy in, drop yourself down, and back up. What it looks like from the front, you'll see that my elbows are really nice and tight within my body. So they're literally brushing my sides as I go down. Right? That way I'm working the triceps, not necessarily to the front of the arm. Also, um, what we don't want you to do is stick your bum in the air. So when you do a push-up, you don't want to see this? All right. <laughs> you want to keep that bum down, but not so down that your pelvis is dropping. So squeeze your bum, you can't drop your pelvis then. You pull your tummy towards the spine, so you should feel nice and tense through the torso, and through the abdomen, and down you go, and back up. Nice straight line. Now, if you can't hit the floor on your knees, that kind of push-up, then you can do something called a hand release push-up. So what it is, hand on the shoulder, go down, nice straight line, all the way to the ground, pick your hands up, and drive them through the floor. And back down, pick your hands up, and drive them from the floor. If you're doing it on your toes, it would look like this, all the way down, drive, and up. You still want to keep that nice straight body, and down. Elbows in all the time. Now, when you're pregnant, what's happening is your abs are separating. And big abdominal movements like this will push, basically it pushes your insides out between your abs and you get an effect called doming. I've done a video on doming, please look at that before you do the push-ups because I want you to see what doming looks like so you can identify it because push-up is a very big strong abdominal movement and as you get more and more pregnant, this position whether you're on your toes or on your knees, there's a lot of pressure going through your abdomen so you'll need to look down and see if you're doming. If you're doming, you need to stop that movement and raise the surface. The reason we raise the surface is so that there will be less pressure going through the abdomen, but you can still get the movement. You do not want to see any doming at all. The more you see the doming, the more that your abs are going to split apart, and then when you have the baby, they're going to be at a certain point where it's going to take a long time for them to get back together and a lot of hard work. So we want to minimize the doming as much as possible. Okay, so how do we raise the surface? So, household implements, I've just got a cardboard box here which I filled with stuff so that it is nice and uh, strong. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put that on the mat and I'm gonna do a push up to the box. Okay, nice and strong. If you look down, you've raised the surface and you look down, you see doming, you need to raise the surface again. You need to take away that pressure of going down. So here, I've got a coffee table, so I'm raising the surface again. Have your hands facing down, pull your bum in, pull your tummy in, go down, and up. Down, and up. Alright, this is... Uh, this is probably going to be where you're ending your third trimester, you'd be using a coffee table like that. You need to keep checking 
in your movements if you're doming or not. If you just look down, you'll know exactly what you see. You'll just see a little dome coming out between your abs. Now, that is for uh, prenatals as they get bigger and bigger through the bump. So you may start on the mat, you may be absolutely fine, but as you start to pop out, you need to check every time you do these movements that you're not doming. If you're not doming, it's fine, carry on. Tummy in towards the spine, pull it nice and tight, squeeze your glutes. The moment you see a little bulge through the abs, stop, raise the surface, see if you're getting any doming. If you're not, carry on. A couple of weeks later, check again if you're getting doming. You keep, you need to, need to, need to check. The moment your doming normally starts probably beginning of second trimester, you should start to see probably some, some changes if your belly's popped out. If you're a new mum and your belly hasn't popped out, it's probably going to be halfway through the second trimester. Keep watching it, keep watching it. If you're a second and third time mum, the belly may pop out a little sooner, the abs are a little bit softer from previous pregnancies, just keep an eye on it. Every single time you've got push-ups in your workout, have a look, see if you're doming. Postnatals, you need to do the check, the diastasis recti check, that's also one of my videos you need to check, because you need to see what your gap is now after having the baby. Now, if your gap is more than two centimeters, you go and check, the video shows you how to check how wide it is, you need to be raising the surface still, even postnatal, you need to raise that surface because those, that gap is still big enough for you to dome, and we don't want doming postnatal either. And all it means is your, gap, your, your abs are just wide enough for your insides to get pushed through. I've got exercises to help with closing up that ab gap, which you can click on, um, but until that gap is close enough, uh, you need to raise the surface until you don't see doming. Hope that helps.